everyone. This week we are going to be working on our drawings and learning how to add color with oil pastels. You can also use color pencils if that is what you have at home. We are going to learn how to add um, and sketch in some cast shadows. So when we look at Wayne Tebow's artwork and there is a PowerPoint on Schoology, just make sure you watch it and take a look at his artworks. Um, he has different types of cast shadows. So we need to find out where our light source is going to be in this piece of art. So if I am gonna show you an example of a cast shadow, like if you see my hand right now, the light is shining over my hand and it's casting this shadow onto my paper. Okay, so my light source is above and my shadow's going behind it. So if my light source for my ice cream sundae is gonna be over here, the shadow will go this way. If my light source is up here, the shadow will go that way, okay? I think I am going to make my cast shadow go this way. And before I start to add color, I'm just gonna sketch this in. And I'm using white color pencil just so it shows up on this paper. So I'm gonna go this way, my light source, everything's gonna be light on this side. So we're adding some value. Value is adding lights and darks. Shadows are our darks. So the light is shining here. My shadow will go this way. So my shadow will probably be somewhat of the shape of my Sunday. So I'm just gonna make an outline and it's gonna go off the page, okay? So that's where I'm going to add my cast shadow in when I do color. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, and when I say light source, I don't mean draw like a sun up in the corner. I just mean pretend that there's light shining down on your dessert and it's gonna cast a shadow on the paper, okay? So after you've done that, you can now start to experiment with your oil pastels, okay? You may also use color pencils. For oil pastels, there's a couple different things that's good to know. Um, you can really build up your color um, by doing light pressure and then going back on top, pressing a little bit harder and harder. And you can see it starts to build up that color. You can use um, white to make colors lighter and that is called adding um, a tint. So when you add white, that changes the tint of your color. So let me see, I have a white right here. And you can see when I add white, it makes a really light pink compared to the one before. You can also add black to your um, oil pastels. When you add black, that's called a shade. So sometimes black is a really, really powerful color and it makes it too dark. So you might have to go back on top with your other color and blend it in so it's not just all black, okay? So there's a tint and a shade of that pink color, okay? So that's what you guys can use um, white and black for when you are adding color to your dessert. So I'm not gonna show you how to color my entire dessert, but I'm gonna give you a general idea. When you use oil pastels, you can tear off some of the paper if you're, um, for example, when it starts to get lower, it gets smaller here. You can start to tear off the paper if you need to. Be gentle. You can add harder pressure, but you don't wanna press so hard that you're breaking your oil pastels. So if I'm thinking my light source is over here, my cherry is gonna be pretty light on that side. So I am still gonna go in. Right? And I'm gonna add color. I'm gonna use small circular motions to add the color of my cherry. Okay? I'm then gonna add the tint. Right, so my light source is on this side, my cherry is lighter on this side. Make it look 3D. I'm gonna add the tint on that side. If I wanted to, I might not, but just to show you, to do the shadow, I can add a little bit of black to add the shade of red to make my cherry look a little bit more realistic and 3D in form. Okay, so I've done my cherry, I think that's good. 
If you have a dessert with whipped cream, right now I'm just cleaning off my oil pastel because it starts to get color all over it. If you have a uh, dessert with whipped cream, you can color that in, but you still want to think about the shadows you might see. So sometimes um, if you really look at your dessert, you might see different reflections of like blue or maybe if like this cherry was have it, had a shadow on my whipped cream, I might see a little bit of red. Okay, you can see that the red came in from my colored pencil or my oil pastel, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. You can even use your nail and scrape some of it off. So this is the lightest part of my whipped cream. It's gonna to start to get darker over here. So I'm just gonna lightly add some color there. Okay, maybe I'll press harder on the edges over here since I know that this is where it gets darker. So when you're coloring, you wanna take your time. You wanna to try to go in the same direction. And if you're using a colored piece of paper, you want to make sure that you're covering up some of that paper. Um, if my dessert was purple, I might want to use some of the paper that's coming through in between my oil pastel marks, but this is whipped cream. So I'm trying to fill all the little white space in. So I might go in and add like a little shade of some blue. I could also go in and add some black. Remember, adding white to things makes it lighter. Adding black makes it darker. So I can't add much more white because this is already white as it is. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna very gently, not even gonna use a lot, Just lightly put it in, not even using a lot of pressure. And then I'm going back on top and with my oil pastel, I'm kind of blending it out in a circular motion. So oil pastels can blend together. Okay, I'm gonna skip finishing my frosting just so I can move on to something else. So I'm gonna have chocolate ice cream. And when you are doing a dessert that is mostly one color, in order to make it look a little bit more realistic and like it has a little bit more shape and form to it is to add different versions of that color on top of it. So yes, I'm gonna have chocolate ice cream, but there's other browns that exist out there and I might add some right on top so it doesn't look so flat. And if you're using oil pastels at home, sometimes they can be messy. So make sure that you are drawing on top of something. Right now I have another piece of paper. This paper I'm also using to test um, different colors out on. So make sure that you're just being careful. They do and they can rub off on your fingers. So just be mindful. So just pay attention to if you get it on your fingers or anything around your clothes, you might wanna roll up your sleeves a little bit. Um, they can be hard to take out of your clothes. Okay. So today your job is to just focus on adding color to your dessert. Do not worry about the background or the table. Um, don't even worry about the cast shadow just yet. Focus on your dessert. So I'm gonna finish up my drawing here and I'll add in a fast forwarded version of my drawing. You can see me color it all. And then we're gonna talk about the cast shadow, the table, and the background, okay?